Mountain Railway, the longest, steepest, highest train that goes up the side of a mountain. We have a three hour round trip ahead of us, uh, which is to say an hour up, an hour to hang out up there, and an hour back down. We got so lucky, the weather is perfect. It's a gorgeous, beautiful, clear day. We're gonna have super views, uh, and we're gonna share the whole ride with you. Okay, so if you come to the Mount Washington Cog Railway, you have your choice of two different trains. There is the traditional steam locomotive engine that is actually coal-fired, and I hear it kind of smells. So we're choosing the other train, which is a more modern biodiesel-powered engine uh, that should still give us the same enjoyable ride and view up to the top. So it's actually really warm here. You could wear shorts or a tank top, but the top of Mount Washington has its own weather, so we're bringing sweaters and jackets. We have a lot of visibility down here, and we really hope it continues when we get to the top. The winds up there could be hurricane force, so we'll yeah. see. Is it weird that the seats are like leaning forward? I think that's a purposeful thing. I read about it. Yeah. So we'll see. So because when we get up there, it's gonna tilt back, so it'll even out. Yeah. So Amelia, is your seat kind of leaning forward right now? Yeah. Is that kind of weird? It's gonna be a steep incline. A steep incline when we get up there. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. It'd be awesome. really fun to hike this. Yeah, I think really it'd be great. made it to the top of Mount Washington riding the famous Cog Railway and it was absolutely worth it. This is spectacular. We got so lucky. We have really great weather. Nice sunny day. It's very windy. Although I hear it gets to up to hurricane force winds here sometimes. Uh, so it could be worse. And uh, man, there are two types of trains. There's the biodiesel, very modern type train that we took up and it's about as smooth as it could get, although still a little bumpy. The other one you can take is a traditional steam locomotive, literally coal fired. They actually stopped to refuel water and coal on the way up. And it's pretty historic, pretty interesting to see. I'm glad we got to see it. It is wonderful up here. You gotta see it. Must see, must do, top of the list. So remember when taking the train, you're gonna go up and down the same side. So take that into consideration. Also, there's lots of hikers that climbed up and are taking the train down. A really great idea. If the kids weren't here, that's what I would do. Going down the mountain, it can be very dangerous because of the negative momentum of the mountain grade. So I need to ask everybody, please don't get out of the train. 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 Don't get out Summit of Mount Washington is the highest point on the East Coast, and it's also where all the storm systems in our country collide. And when they do, they form a single giant mega weather system. So we got back down from Mount Washington Summit uh, using the Cog Railway again, and man, it was really great. Uh, surprisingly, just the steam engine or the locomotive does all the work, but uh, it can still make you tired after a long day of, you know, activities. But that uh, kind of bear is comfy and cozy. 
Isn't that sweet? Did you have a good time? I loved it. There were a lot of people on the way back on our car because we were the last one of the day that had just hiked up the mountain and we're taking it back down and I would love to do that because you know once you get up there you're like high on the fact that you made it up and it would be cool that they have that little mountain house so you could go get yourself like a snack like hang out and appreciate the view and then take the train back down I think that's just perfect it seems like it's about a seven mile hike up but it's a pretty challenging one so I wouldn't do it with the kids and I would need to like bring some gear, like hiking sticks, stuff like that. So maybe one day when um, our kids are a little older or Mike and I can go on our own, I think it would be a pretty awesome hike. I'm putting that one and what was that really difficult hike at? Um, mm -hmm. In Acadia, Maine. Acadia. And, yeah. um, oh man, I can't remember. The Flying the Duchess the or something? Precipice. Oh, the French. Yeah. I'm putting those two as like my top two hikes when my kids are old enough yeah. or when Mike and I can go alone. Yep.